notebook. Um, and then you're gonna take all of your drawings and put it inside this notebook. And then you're gonna walk out of this class with this wooden notebook. So this is an intro to engineering class, notebook you're gonna build. We're gonna use some of the traditional shop tools, the CNC router for cutting the holes for the binding comb, uh, the laser cutter to engrave on the front. The first thing you wanna do is you're working with this eighth inch plywood right here, and you want the grain to go lengthwise on your book. So you're gonna rip it, a sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11. So you're gonna rip it at eight and a half. And it, it's a little tricky to rip, because it's so large. And so you always control the board between the blade and the fence. So even if it's a large four by eight sheet, and you're holding all of it, you might start out here to get that direction. But before the two boards are parted, you control the board between the blade and the fence. Okay, so the first step in building our notebook, going to be ripping two boards to eight and a half and cross cutting them to 11. We're going to use the calipers to find the overall thickness before we CNC the cone holes in there. Now that that whole board is supported, I'll move my body over here. I can pull this board here all the way through, past the blade. I could actually cut two at a time and that will guarantee that they'll be exactly the same size. I'm going to come down. Here I have to mark at 11. My hands never go underneath the pass of that blade. And then I can either turn the laser on or I could just look down that blade. Right? The laser is nice on this test tool because it gives you both sides of the blade and it includes the curve. So there's my 11. Two of them are the same. Really good firm hold on it. I start the blade right before I cut through. And then there's the front and the back of there's my edges open. all sanded. I use my dial caliper to find the thickness of this wood. Even though it's eighth inch, it's never exact. So I need to use a caliper. It's eighth inch, but this is actually 0.115. So that's 0.115 instead of 0.125. So I have that thickness. On the computer here, I go to Corel Draw. And I go file new. What's important here, I usually set this to either the size of my board or the size of the bed. I'm going to call it 24 by 12, the size of my bed on my universal. And then this has to be RGB. And then I'll just create a text box. So down here is text. And create that text box. I don't know within the window of eight and a half by 11. So my text box is 5.6 by four. Inside here, I'll just type in Colfax. Hi. And once I have that typed in, I could highlight it, change the font, size, and change the font. Well, it's highlighted, see what it looks like. Okay, and then now that I have my text box all created, I hit file, print. I hit print. That's not going to print it. That just sends it to the driver that operates the universal laser. Now I minimize my Corel Draw 18 window. Open up my laser engraver. It's turned on. I'm going to click on the centering box here, relocate view. I click on the center of my text. And I, I don't, I want it a little higher than the middle, but I do want it centered this way. So I click on the middle of my text, and I'm going to put this measurement in at half of eight and a half. So four and a quarter, 4.25, enter. And then pretty high up on my board. That looks good. I go over here to settings. It's a natural material. Specifically, it's wood. 
I just put it as a general hardwood. The thickness was 0.115 off of the caliper. Apply, okay. My board goes in there. My back system gets turned on. And then I hit play and I stay out here and watch it while it's running. Okay, and then the next step after that is then we're gonna use the CNC router to cut the cone holes. This wooden notebook, you laser engrave anything you want on the cover, and then pages on the inside. You make a speed square and ruler for it as well. Uh, today I'm just gonna go over the CNC portion of it and how you're gonna CNC cut the cone holes, okay? So if I'm looking down on the top of the CNC router, and this is the router bed. This direction here is X, so going back and forth. Up and down is Y, and then depth is Z up and down. I have a fixture fixed to the tabletop that looks like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring the router bit at a fast speed rate right down and center it on that corner, the lower right hand corner of your notebook. And then you're going to zero all. So you're going to have to let that computer in there know that this is your new origin. So you're going to bring it to this spot, touch it down, the bit centered on that corner, and then you're going to zero it and let the computer know out there and the tool know that's your origin. Once you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is move it in that x direction, negative 0.75. So you're going to move it to the left three quarters of an inch. And the way you do that uh, is with the negative, okay? And then once you're here, then the bit's gonna be sitting right here. You're gonna zero it again. So again, this is your new starting point, your new origin. And then from there, you gotta go to file. It's under my name, Schwartz, under notebook, and it's the final binding cone file. And it's an NC file, which means it's a numeric code. So I actually created this program in the software called MasterCam, and then I posted it to create the NC code. Okay, I just want to take a second to take a look at the NC code. code. This is G code, invented by a couple of MIT guys to run computer-controlled equipment. So all of CNC, no matter what software you created in, it's run program code code. starts here. This is always your beginning. And then rapid travel, positive 0.255 above your board. Then from there, these are all your parameters you're setting. You know, you're working in inches and so forth. And then you rapid travel again with the G0 to this coordinate. So you're starting over right 0.28 of an inch. In the Y direction, you go up almost one inch, 0.9, spindle speed of 18,000 and the tool. Then travel in the Z direction of 0.25. You're still traveling under the rapid rapid travel. Rapid travel down, rapid travel down. And then here's your first command to slow it down. And then what you want to do, G1, is you want to travel in the Z direction. So you're plunging down an eighth of an inch, negative 0.125. And then this is a feed rate of 50 inches per minute. So it's plunging down into the board, and then once it plunges down, it travels in the x-direction out of bounds, at a feed rate of 100, and the y is going to travel up to 0.93, and then these are just coordinates and coordinate space, okay? So this is the G-code that I programmed that we're going to run on the CNC router. All right, so let's go out there right now and try and remember some of those numbers I, I Set here, and I'll show you what it's doing out there, and you'll see it's just following this menu. Here. I want to get this down tight, and I want these wing nuts to go lengthwise so my cutter doesn't actually hit them. So this is an 8 cent flat end mill. Okay, the software on here is only the driver for Techno, it's proprietary to Techno, and it's Techno CNC. And this is the interface for this tool, right? So this tool, this software only reads that computer numeric code. This dog speed is only a speed from when it's traveling around 
as you're manually moving it, but the, the actual speed it's running at is the speed I programmed into it. So because I'm far away, I want to go at a fast speed, and I want to move it forward, I want to come towards me, why? I want to go down in Z, and then a little bit over in X. And then when I'm within about an inch of my corner, I turn that jog speed way down to something more like 10 or 15. And then now I can bring it over, put your eye on right in front of it, if you're trying to find your X direction. Your eye on this side right in front of it to find your Y direction, and then down low to find your Z. So there it is in my lower right hand corner. I'm going to zero that. So I'm going to go over here to zero all. I'm telling this computer here, this tool, that that's my new origin. And then now that I've zeroed it, I have to go over in the X direction, negative point seven. I'm going to go file, the E drive, it's under Schwartz, and I go down to notebook. And in the notebook folder, final binding count, hold, dot nc. nc is my numeric code file. I click on that. OK. Uh, Pre-process. It has a 1 minute and 43 second runtime. Within that, I want to preview it. This is the origin I'm saying. I can see it's offset that 3 quarters of an inch. It's going to travel over here. These are every step it's going to plunge down. And, and you'll see that code I brought up there. It's going to start from that origin, travel over in X, whatever that was, like a half inch, in Y a little bit, and then in Z it's going to go down rapidly and then start cutting those paths. Before I hit start, i got to make sure I have glasses on. I want my hand near the emergency stop button. My hands don't go anywhere near the cutters when it's running. If I stop it here, I can't reset it. If I pause it here, I can continue the file run. Okay? So then I just hit start. To get out of here, to get this thing out of your way, you want to do that at a fast speed. Most importantly, remember, whenever you move this tool out, you always Z up first. So you always Z up. Make sure you're not going to drag it, and then you can go back. And then there's your notebook with the film holes cut. Uh, then you just want to grab this. This is a one-inch binding comb. No, it's a three-quarter inch binding comb. And you're just going to take this and just manually put it through like that all the way through. Before you do all that, you want to sand it, make sure your laser engraved done. You could do this part first, and laser engraved second. Uh, sand and clean up, and then there's your notebook.